Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Sparta campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. Now, last time we took uh, Tarentum off the Romans, uh, we struck forth, we took Tyras, and we are looking at the Getai in anticipation, potentially for <laughs> some uh, Scythian intervention, hopefully. Now, in terms of the battles, I believe we've got a couple, or do we not? We've got the Lysimachia. Got you to attack there. That's fine. We took Tarentum. Obviously, we're sieged at Ancona and Suggestica. Uh, have we got any more armies to move? No, I don't believe so currently. You guys need to go to Bylazora for a bit of a retraining. Fantastic. Um, and then Ambrakia, getting one more cavalry unit. And then I think that's going to be everything. Hmm. I thought there was another battle. I mean, I potentially couldn't do the battle for Lysimachia. I'm not really that bothered, though. I kind of want to just siege them down. Not in any rush whatsoever right now. This battle, however, would be a good one. Okay, we can't even do it. <laughs> we can't even do it. I mean, I was going to do that one, but... Kind of want the revival of the Scythians, and I want to ally them. Not that they would probably accept my alliance, but <laughs> don't know at the minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward, actually, with these two units to Ayada. So we've got more defenses on the border with Rome. Though it's not technically bordering Rome, it may do if they take Suggestica. And it's also quite close to them, just across the river. From Ancona. River? Just across the river? Just across the Adriatic from uh, Ancona. Um, and if that is everything, guys, I will end the turn there. I think it potentially could be. Hmm. Potentially could be. We've started uh, getting a bit more money again now. And are we building everywhere? Yes, we are. So we can see our culture. See some places that don't have our culture. But we are predominantly Greek now, which is great. And some of these places that had big issues are turning Greek, as you can see, which is fantastic. I think that'll give rise to us being able to convert some of these other places as well. Could do with Arkadava. Arkadava is going Greek. That is great. What about Singuidum? Oh, you are Greek already. Fantastic. I think a Quincum is, in fact, Greek as well. Not sure how that even happened, but it did. Okay, it did. <laughs> Which is fantastic. So Jessica is Greek. That's probably because of the Epirates. Although, were they not Illyrian culture? I think they were. Is Iarda Greek? Yes. So it's just these areas up here. These areas across here who are uh, Thracian. We had big problems with Lysimachia. That's why they returned to the Idrisians. But we need to start changing some of these places as soon as we can. Ah, oh, Greek is already going up in the city of Wells Desire. Getting the correct culture for Byzantium, right? <laughs> right then, guys. Let us end the turn here. Let's see what happens. We're also going to possibly, depending on what happens, if, uh, if some of these other nations decide that they're going to attack us from the east, then I will start recruiting some mercenary horse archers in a lot of places. Or potentially mercenary... Uh, Mercian, mercenary, better mercenary cavalry, because it's just better than our own cavalry. Right then, guys, let's end the turn and let's see what happens. Plenty, plenty going on. Okay, interesting. So Luke still alive, but surely they're not going to be alive for much longer. Come on, Rome. Come on, attack me for God's sake. Why would they not attack? Have mercy. They want to become a protectorate, but I've got to give them everything. <laughs> uh, no. I will become your protector. No. Nope. I will not give you anything. Ah, oh, look. Go on, Scythia. That's what I like to see. Okay, cool. We are fighting the Adrissians. It's Bastanian infantry, phalanx swordsmen. Cool. That's interesting. Oh, Tribalian light spearmen. Some Greek Oplites. Zistaphoroi du Diopus of the Adrissians. I don't think they've. That's a very good army, honestly. 
Cavalry, like hardly any, so we'll absolutely destroy them. Good, I'm looking forward to this. Come on, Cleonimos. Cleonimos, the glorious, the glorious, glorious Cleonimos. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Nice battle map as well. Fantastic. Thank you, Cleonimos. Always to the point, my friend, aren't you? Ah, it's a lovely battle map, this. Look at that. Glorious, glorious battle map. I don't know where... So, was it the big army attacking us first or the smaller army? Maybe I should have checked that. <laughs> now, because they don't have much cavalry, I think it's safe to stick our archers... Even get them closer to the line, potentially. You can do that, my boys. That would be good. Right in front of that phalanx line. Stick the kind of smaller units on this side. Even though they have Thessalian lancers, so they're better. We'll stick you guys on this side with Cleonimos. Glorious commander. Right, there they are. So the smaller your army... Oh, the smaller army's coming from over there. It's fine then. Let's have a look at some of these units. We've not really had a bit of a unit look for a while. So where are these? Those are the Dying Swordsmen. They are good. We know they're good. Bastanian Swordsmen. So are they just... Is that just the Bastanian Swordsmen? I thought... Okay, there now there's the Bastanian Infantry. They look pretty much like... Uh, they don't look great, do they? As in, like, not the way they look. As in, like, they don't look like a good unit. And, I mean, the defense of 36 is not horrendous. But the morale and, morale and attack of four, uh, of 14 is, is, is... A melee attack of 10 is, is poor. So they're a they're militia unit, it looks like. Tribalian Light Spearmen. Oh, those, those guys are wearing no armor. Poor guys. The, the AI always tries to do this. They're always like, we shall flank them. And completely fails to do so in the process. Right, we'll just do a little shimmy. It, it doesn't really matter. Go there. You guys can stay here. Actually hidden these horsemen. Come on, boys. Let's get firing away with our archers. Prodromoy over here. Dian Swordsmen are very good. We've got to worry about them slightly. These Thracian Royal Bodyguards we know are incredibly tough. Very heavily armoured. And they look awesome. Look at those curved swords. It's like a backward scimitar. That is cool. Like a hacking sword. Hack you to pieces. Now we're firing. All good. Brilliant. Looks like they're going for a full frontal assault. Keep firing, boys. Let's do as much damage as you can before we need to move you back. Then you can duke it out with their skirmishers and archers. Not that they have many. Right, let's go. Time to go, boys. Going straight into that phalanx once again. Fantastic. Let's go. Marchy march, boys. Marchy march. Going for the charge, are they? Fantastic. That's what we like to see. They will die. They will die a miserable, miserable death. The hands of our phalanxmen. Phalanxmen? Phalangites! <laughs> right, let's go after their general. You guys are going to focus on these guys. Time to kill the general, my friends. Let's get in the back of that Bastani infantry. What are these? Dying swordsmen. I mean, as I say, I don't want to really engage them too much in combat. But we might have to. There. Well, I hope we've destroyed them. We've actually not done that much damage, have we? Let's get out then. Get out that way would be ideal. So we can go deal with that general. Oh, how did we do over here? Looks like we did pretty well. 
Completely routed them. Let's get these archers. Actually, no, let's get that blob. That blob of troops. Get you around. Get our general into the Thracian Royal Bodyguards. Come on, Cleonimos. I hope Cleonimos doesn't die. It would be a nightmare if he died. I'd be very upset. Always think a general's died when I hear that sound. I'm not going to lie. Are you boys out now? In there? Well, maybe not in there. Let's get you out. One of you has taken a serious amount of damage there. Okay. Oh, okay, God. Good Lord, I was a bit scared then. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Thought Cleonimos was dead. Would have cried. I would have cried. Tears would be flowing down my cheeks right now. Straight in there, boys. Mass route. We cannot live without their general. Ah, oh, yes. I knew this uh, Bastanian infantry was going to break as soon as the general died. With that small morale, low morale. You get them. Uh, I want to go after them, but they've got these Greek Oplites come in. We just have to maneuver around them. So get over there. You guys the same. Don't think we worry about those Greek Oplites. Not while we... Not while we can. While we don't need to. You guys get there. You two can go after whoever is remaining. Yeah, you go after them. That's that's fine. Get all the rest of you up there. A few of them have come back, but they will just die. What are those Tribal and Light Spearmen doing? They will just rout as soon as I've charged them this time. Come on, boys. Stop going after my cavalry. Kill them. You get them. Oh, I hate I hate it when they just run after your cavalry. You're not gonna catch us, boys. Don't don't try too hard. They're already broken. Get them. Yeah, they're going after these guys now. Why are you turned the wrong way, bro? The wrong way. Hmm. All right, get these guys off uh, phalanx mode. And let's go. Oh, we're getting shredded by our own archers there. Whoops. Get these guys forward. Over that left-hand side. In fact, you guys just stop firing for now. Need to stop getting my own infantry shredded by my archers. Get that. Okay, one of you after those guys. One of you after these guys. Right, so, need you guys to chase them. You guys to chase them. General there. You guys there. You guys can chase these guys. And we've got one left, haven't we? Just you, the 16 of you. Got some decent experience though now, my friends. Oh, why are they? Where are they running to? Why are they running? They're missile troops, apparently. That's why. Fight them. Oh, you are facing completely the wrong way. Ah, oh. phalanxes are amazing in line. As soon as I start to try and maneuver them, they they go well all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> they're just hard to maneuver once they're out of their nice line formation. Get them. Right, well, you three can come after these units. Because they're a constant scourge. You guys actually could go... If you get there decently, you might be able to attack them. You guys go after them. We'll take these three down this way to deal with these units. Okay, this is better. You guys get back to Phalanx. Well, where have you been? You need to charge those. They're shaken already. Should break them. Routing. Okay, they're routing. Good, 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 good. Oh, I've made a bit more hard work of this than it really should have been. 
I only lost 12% though. It's not too bad, is it? Get through that Bastana infantry. Oh wait, you guys. Fire at will now. Right in your face. Fire at that guy. Just fire. Come on. They're right there. He's literally right there. Fire. Didn't even do that much damage. Oh, it actually did. Yeah, no, it actually did quite a lot. Get back. Go and kill them. You guys kill them. You guys them. Good. I think we've pretty much mopped up them all now. It was a bit... A bit rubbish. I, I maneuvered these guys are not great. Some decent experience coming on show here now, though. These guys with two silver. Excellent. 43 defense now. 25 attack. That's really good. I'm wondering whether they can go higher than 25 or whether that's just a hard limit. Yeah, kill them. Kill them all. Just continue just to kill the rest of that army so that army gets destroyed as well. There we are. Fantastic. Stay it. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well done, Clear Nymos. Fantastic victory once again. 251 for that Spartan Cavalry. That's amazing. Some Gila Archers doing well. 103. Did lose a few of our own uh, soldiers to the Archers, but that was my fault once again. Anyway, guys, we shall see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Okay, cool. Marcus the Mad is joining. So we are defending a city. Unfortunately, it is only wooden walls. That is one of our problems. We do have phalanxes, though. And it's Marcus the Mad. And Sextus Cornelius. Another Scipio. Have a chance to kill another Scipio. Look at that gold experience, guys. That's scary. Uh, Captain Vibius, what have you got? It's fine. These guys are damaged, quite damaged, a lot of them, but they've still got a serious amount. We've got 1,600. They've got about 2,000. Cool. Well, let's see whether the gambit has worked, guys. Let's see whether the gambit has worked. We just want to fight them off. We probably want to retrain this army after this and replace... The garrison with some mercenaries. If those mercenaries can just hold out until we get back with our trained troops, that'll be fine. I mean, we've got another army on the way. They could even take their place or go after another settlement. If we kill these, we're killing like a decent stack and a half of Roman troops, which is good. But first of all, we've got to win. Anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. <laughs> Way. So, guys, let's see what we want to do. Let's see. So, single guy on this side with a ram. Lots of rams over that side. And a single ram over there. I mean, they only have two ways into the town square. That way and that way. I just think it's better with a wooden wall, like... With a wooden wall, when they're going to make multiple gates, I think it's just better to take the defense of the town square, honestly. Especially with our phalan phalangites. We can absolutely smash ram troops in here. Really give them a tough time. I will, however, get our archers in place to fire at them as they, they're coming. It's going to be hard to get them in a place where they can fire, though. And I think I'm just going to go this side. And then as soon as they, you know, break through the gates, we will run them away. You guys are in there. The cavalry. I mean, I could use the cavalry. I'm not too bothered about it, though, at the minute. So, this side. We want to make a box. A double-sided box. So... We want to get it nice. Make sure everyone's on guard mode and in phalanx. Make sure you're nice and wide. And then we'll thicken it up. A double layered, guys. Double layered. A nice double layered box. Now, we will be susceptible to their jabbies. But as I say, 
with our armor upgrades and stuff, we're actually doing pretty decently against their Javis currently. Uh, do I want to go forward more with that? I think so. Just to block them off from getting around us. And we'll get you guys there. You guys behind. And then I want this unit ideally in like there to stop them getting through this gap. Maybe two of them. Uh, ideally, you should go... Hmm, no. Probably stick you guys like that. So we have just got a box of death here. Imagine facing that, guys. <laughs> what would you do? What would you do? There's literally nothing you can do. And then Nicandros will keep you in the middle, my friend. The archers will escape as soon as they can. I'm not sure they'll be able to fire over those walls, honestly. But we shall see. It's a sunny, misty, sunny day. The sun is falling. I hope we can beat them. Just make sure those are the only two ways in. Yes, they are. It's a very big... S okay, we're off. Oh, wait. No, we're not firing. I thought we were. Looks like we weren't. Well, then. If that's the case, we'll get our archers back. Speed everything back up. Get back, guys. Go. Where are they going? Why did they run that way and then decide to turn around? Interesting. Interesting choice. Right. The Romans have entered the city. Yes, they have. I think the archers will do a good job here. So as long as they don't hit our men too much. Which they shouldn't if we get them su sufficiently back. So I want you two, because you're the first, you two about there, and you should be able to fire into over there without hitting our men. Now you two, same thing here, we'll go about here, maybe even further back than that. Because all you need to do is be able to have range to there, and just fire into that blob. Let's see how they get through this. Go on boys, you can do it. Interesting. They send a load of troops around this way. Those troops will have to go a long way around to get into the town square. It's going to be a grind fest, guys. It's going to be a grind fest. But this is what we wanted. I love this. Taking damage from our towers for no reason. That is fantastic to see. Honestly, it doesn't look like anyone is going to go around this way. Unless these guys go all the way around, which I can't see them doing. So it's going to be a fight over here, I think. So let's uh, thin out the ranks over here a little bit. We've just got one unit there. We probably don't need... We don't need you. I kind of want a bit of a unit like here. Mm, maybe not. That's a bit silly, I think. What we might do is like that, so if anyone gets around this side, we can take them out. You've got to just plug all the gaps with these phalanxes. I think we can take you as well. More walls are down. And you guys go there. And there's just no way they're going to get through that. They can try and push. And I believe they will try and push. I can't see them can't see them going all the way around this way when there's this way open. Okay, maybe they do. Maybe they will. Let's just speed it up. They've got a time limit, remember, as well. So if they don't take it in that time limit, that's them gone. That's them done. Which I, I can't see them doing. Good luck, Romans. Good luck, honestly. So we do only have three units left over here. If if needs be, we can pull out these back two units over there, though. I think they, they are going to go around this way with a couple of troops. Not that many. Most of them are coming this way. These ones, most of them, likely going to come around this way. Okay, our archers are firing now. Are we taking any damage? Who are you firing at? It's these two. Surely they're not firing. They won't be able to fire that way. Do you know what? I'm going to get you guys in here. 
And you guys can stay here. Back backwards, actually. Stay there. It's fine. Speed things up again. Okay, maybe you need to go forward, honestly. Go there. Just as long as not firing on our own men. If we see anyone dying at the back, we know we're firing on our own men. Okay, they're not going to fire their javis, which is excellent. Good luck. Good luck, Astarte. We have a really decent attack with these guys now. Let's let's have a look. 22 attack. It's very strong. That's predominantly most of their troops going that way. I'm sending some around the back here. Campanian cavalry. They look like our general with those uh, Greek things. Nice. They look great. They look excellent. And then around this side, some Hastati. Princapes with the gold star. If we can get rid of some of those experience units, that means they have to build up all experience once again once they've trained new units. So that is great if we can do that. Oh my god. This is the killing zone here, isn't it, guys? The amount of spears in that area from all angles. Good luck. Good luck, Hastati. <laughs> They're throwing some jabbies now. That's fine. Oh, there's no way they get through. Especially with the timer. Speed it up. There's no point going on normal speed with this. Okay, but we're losing men at the back. So you guys just halt for a second. Don't fire. I'd like you to fire at those Astarte. Keep you on guard mode. Because they're right at the back. That is the only thing that will kill us. If, if they do kill us all with jabbies, then that's fair enough. So we're not... Oh, we're still losing men at the back there. Is it worth it, though? We've lost a few. Don't know how much damage we can do. Shoot those equites. Now they're coming down this way. That's fine. Might be a little bit of a thin line here. We're firing at them. Okay, that time we didn't hit any any of our men, which is good. So I'm hoping that stays. Shoot that Astarte. If not, the Tribunus Militum. Okay, one of them's already broken. That's it, Equites. Oh, poor Romans. Poor Romans. <laughs> We're pretty similar in terms of uh, fatalities. But that doesn't hugely matter. Just as long as we hold the line. They will have to retreat. Poor Romans. See, I don't think... So with the Phalanx, like you don't generally do a huge amount of damage. Okay, who are you? Oh, you're getting just shredded by our archers. So I think... Ideally, let's stop you. No more firing, my friends. I mean, you should be able to fire there without hitting our own men, but it doesn't seem like it. These guys are down to 67. I mean, part of it can could be the, the Javis as well. We've got to remember that. So good job I've got these guys there, because it looks like they will get around that side. Nice. They're still all eager. Oh, look, that one cavalry unit has screwed up that phalanx a little bit. But it's still there. I'm going to press just hold so they get that phalanx in again. Good, that's better. Oh, they're trying to. They're really trying to do some damage with that cavalry, but it's it's really backfiring on them. I feel almost bad for them. How's it going over this side? Okay, this unit's taking a bit of damage. Those equites are gone. This unit kind of needs to spread across more this way because this unit's taking the brunt, the brunt of the force. Honestly think it might be worth moving you. Or you. I hope we get some experience from this. We should. Should be doing a lot of kills. Oh, these poor guys. These poor guys. If only I had some grenades right now. Bang, bang, bang. That would be awesome. <laughs> not strictly, uh... Not strictly correct for the time period, but... Right. I need you guys. Let's get over there. 
Get out of there. And does that leave us vulnerable in any way? Not really. I can't see it leaving us vulnerable at all. What I'm going to do is going to tell them these all, apart from these guys, I'm going to tell them all to halt so they get their phalanx reset. Oh, it's beautiful when they do that. They just end up pushing them back so much. Ah, killing these experienced Roman troops is just glorious. That's what we like to see. Now, oh, Phalanx boys, Phalanx. Now we've got the double layer of the Phalanx boys. Yeah, there we are. No way they get through that. Good luck, Romans. Good luck. How many have we left out? Yeah, we're overtaking them now in kills, which is good. Good to see. Speed it up. Oh, it's a bit laggy on the speed, but it's probably the amount of troops on the battle map. We've still got a ton of troops around there. Jesus. Now you guys can stop firing as well. Oh, guys, how can you let them round like this? How did they let them round like that? They would cross the whole way. You idiots. You are a failure. I'm going to have to get Nick Andros in there. Oh, damn, bro. You failed us quite severely here. That is a huge failure by you. Shocking, shocking behavior. You shall be decimated. In fact, I hope you are decimated by the enemy for your stupidness. Right. They've got so many troops. They just can't do anything. Poor guys. Yeah. Starting to get ahead now. As long as Nick Andros, who's there, doesn't get on the front line, we're happy. Get fighting, boys. Get fighting. See, this side, they've hardly let... They've not let anyone through. That side, they've let everyone. God, this is glorious. Let's go. Let's watch the Romans die. Come on, boys. Doing well. Keep it up. Good job these guys are here. Really to block that area off. Do a halt again. Get that phalanx back in. Good experience gained. 40 of these guys had left. Halt. That companion cavalry is really strong. How are we doing over here? They are breaking through over this side. That's kind of annoying. These guys out. Do you know what? We have cavalry. I forgot about that. Might have to do a couple of charge. Oh, it's a gold star princopes. That's probably the part, the main problem. Get there. They're ch chugging on these guys from the flank, which is a bit of a problem. Right. Now go. And then, let's get uh, Nicandros out of there. I don't want him to die. That could be the battle over if he dies. We are breaking a few guys. Oh, there's just no way they get through with the timer. Balance of power is still in their favor, though. Guys, go. Oh, God, guys, come on. Phalanx, you idiots. How annoying can you be sometimes? But these guys are shaken, are wavering. Let's go. Get in them. Phalanx guys, come on. God, wavering. If we can break them, that would be awesome. Okay, just back down to shaken though. I think we can break this flank. We'll do another charge. Get you guys over there. I didn't mean to do that. 
Get you guys back. Get back. Oh, Nikandros, you get over here, my friend. Start rallying the boys over here. These boys are doing so much better than the other ones. See, look. What are you doing? Go like that, for God's sake. I should just not get, not press attack with the phalanx because they just do stupid stuff like we've just seen. You can get in the side of that Prinkapaze. I think we can break it. Shaken. Shaken them. Okay, good. Good. Shake them. Get them to waver. Get them out. They should have overwhelming numbers here. Unhappy. Distraught over a number of enemies. Yeah, we've broken one thing. Should help. hopefully break the others. Okay, now they're wavering. If we can just break them, we can break this whole flank. There's no one else to take their place. Then it's just focusing on over here. Oh, guys. Guys, you're pushing too far forward. You're on guard mode. Look what... They've, they've like... Because we've killed so many of them, they've made like a goddamn spearhead into the enemy. It's going to cause a lot of you to die, my friends. Okay, have we broken them now? Is that them all? Goddamn. Oh my god. It's time for the play, boys. It's time for the play. Let's go. Go, go, go. Speed it up. It's time for the play. The jolly play. No, that way, guys. For God's sake. Now here. Okay, guys. Why? Why are you so far behind? You idiots. God damn. I can get some... I am salty sometimes. When these units don't move like the way you want them to, I get salty. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's time for the play, boys. It's time for the play. Okay, we're in Triarii, which is not ideal. And the charge is never really going to work. If we can get a route off, though. So what I'm thinking... If we get, like, three of these units here... Two of them, ideally, here... You can go around that way, it's fine. And we can block all the routing troops off. Like, all of them. And then we just let them go. Let, we let them try and break through. Potentially charge them if they want. Drive Eunice Militum. Okay, they are coming back, though. That's one issue. I want them to be in there. Come on, boys. Oh. Get back here. Okay, if they want to chase my cab, they can. It's fine. We'll just come back around this way and charge these guys in the back. Right, these boys. Let's get them in reserve here, just in case. I'm thinking you. If you can go here, that would be good. And maybe the 77, we can get you in there. Okay, let's go then. If they're going to be stupid and leave the backs undefended, we shall attack them. Well done. Well done, lads. Come on, boys. Let's go. It's just so hard to break these guys. They're so tough. See what they're saying. Just ex concerned, overexposed. Unhappy due to exhaustion. Just concerned over exposed flanks. That's not enough to break them. Now the boys are coming though. Bit of reinforcements. It's a halt. We better get some experience from this goddamn battle. As long as they don't cut us off, I'm happy. Which doesn't look like they're going to do. They're, okay, unhappy. They're unhappy for a lot of things now. How are they safe in the knowledge? Unhappy 
Intimidated by nearby enemy. Who's intimidating? Which one of these are guys frightens nearby enemy? Right, you guys get out. I just want you to get out. Don't want to lose you. Okay, the phalanxes are reinvigorated with new and new troops. Let's get in there. And you are the decent elite troops. Ha! Huh, what idiots, man. Alright, now are you guys out. We'll cycle these guys in. So there's only eight minutes on the timer left for them. Let's speed it up. Good, good. Everyone's good now. The Phalanx seems to be holding quite well. Get these guys in. Guys, you've got to charge. It's not the best charge I've ever seen. So they're still all, like, eager in that. It's a bit annoying. Has their general died? Okay, Marcus the Mad has died. That was one of the big armies. What are they doing now? They don't really know, do they? Oh, if I, I just if I just had better cavalry, I'd be shredding through these guys right now. That cavalry is just so poor. Um, let's uh, let's just get out. What are these triarii doing? Come on, boys! Balance of power is now in our favour. Fifty-five to thirty. Be amazing if we got below uh, 15, but it's it's not going to happen, is it? Just zoom in so I can see how close these Triarii are to our cavalry. They want to come after us. As I say, it's fine. We we can outmaneuver them. It's no problem whatsoever. Go! What the hell are you doing? What? What is that? We've just lost a unit. Oh, we just broke one. Try and break some of the others. Kill that Astarte general. These poor guys, they're properly sandwiched in now. Kind of want to get you out. Our cavalry is down to so little men now. We've done a decent job of pushing them into our phalanxes though. Well done, boys. Well done. Take that as a job well done. Come on, boys. What a battle. What a battle for us. This army does really need some hell of a retraining right now, though. So I'm a bit scared that... Oh, look at that. Yes. How many did we heal? Hoping we healed some. Yeah, we healed quite a lot, actually. Well done. And experience. We gained experience on a lot of those phalangites. How many did they kill, though? Hundreds. Hundreds. That is brilliant. 178, 153, 168. Really good. 168 this side. Well done, my boys. Well done. For once, the cavalry wasn't the MVP in a battle. That is excellent. Uh, I'm just slightly worried now that they will just replace those sieging armies with a brand new full stack. And then we lose that battle. But... Oh, well, we shall see. I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Victory! Here we are. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Fantastic. Again, another defense. This army, obviously, is a bit damaged. Oh. Let's go, boys. Yes. I've been complaining about the Romans not attacking for ages. And now they do. Oh, glorious. Well, let's see whether we can win this one as well, guys. And I will see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. At the last, there is something appealing. Something appalling. Something for everyone in what I must now say. We will win. Yes. Many of us may die, but all of us will, will be, be brave. brave. Fantastic. You are right, of course. And it's the same again. Same exact organization. So we're going to do the same thing, of course. No archers at the front this time. It was pointless. We'll probably just not even use them. Um, and we've got a... Who have we got? 
You aim on. You aim on. Why aim on? Right. Here we are. Guys, there. Uh, I mean, it would be quite good on this corner as, as well. I might go. Might try a different technique this time, guys. Ah, uh, but we can't get that same spread. They will get around us. So, let's do that instead. 69 of these guys. These guys will go here. Stop anyone coming that way. These guys will fill the line there. These guys will fill the line there. These guys will fill the line here. These guys. And then the rest of you guys, we will get you. Okay, this is actually a better corner for us over here. 69 of you as well. And... Who is left? Got these three left over. That's fine. Probably don't need them. Any problems over that side? We've got the general. And then we've got the cavalry. Where are you? There we are. Fantastic. You can see how bad our cavalry is by the fact that they don't even stand in formation, guys. <laughs> Look. They're just irregular. Like a regular formation. They're that badly trained. Poor cavalry. Ah, oh, good luck. Good luck once again, dear Romans. Once again, I think you will lose. And I hope you will lose. So let's speed it up. Got a decent selection of army again. I think it's... 1,300. So they actually... They outnumber us by quite a bit this time. I think they outnumbered us quite a bit last time. I'm honestly not bothered about you shooting at the gates, Towers. I'd rather you just shot at the people. That's not shooting at the gates. Shooting at the uh, battering rams. Rather you just shot at the actual people. Did some damage to them. Because honestly, I'm not bothered about them getting through. If I had stone walls, it'd be a different question. However, I'd probably not want to defend the stone walls with our phalangites. Just because... They'll be trash on walls because their ult attack of 12 is nearly half of what they have. Hopefully, we can get some nice experience with these boys. These guys actually have better armor upgrades. There's not a great selection of armor upgrades for these guys. These guys need to go to Bylazora and Pella for a double retrain. Both armor and weapon and a retraining of their... Uh, um, of their units. Especially the cavalry. And we need to replace one of the infantry with an archer. Ah, here they come. The Romans once again, boys. This is glorious. This is what we wanted. We wanted a nice defensive battle. Ideally, I would like that general to get in here. Gnaeus Fabius Picta. A name. No, nope, here he comes. Fantastic. Get in there and get yourself killed, my friend. <laughs> Glorious! Yes, I love it. I love it. Thing is, with our temple, with the, the th fact that we have the temple to Deimos and Phobos, we can uh, afford to build that temple in uh, our blacksmith areas, like armor areas, uh, and try maybe somewhere that's more likely to become a huge city than Bylazora quickly. Try and get one of those into a... Uh, into a recruitment hub to get gold and silver upgrades rather than just bronze and silver. How much better we would be with our better armor upgrades. That would be amazing. Even more armor on these guys. That would be so good. Here they come. There are some coming around this way. Some Hestati. More Hestati. How experienced are these boys? They're not... It's not as experienced as the last army. The last army had some serious experience. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. Here they come into the wall of death. They're going to fire their javis. Did a little bit of damage. There they go. Grind fest once again, boys. Good. Oh, and he's got his tribunus in there straight away. What a fool. What a fool. They're not dying. But <laughs> it's fine. As you can see, not many of them are dying right now. Guys, 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 just halt. Do not move forward. Why are you moving forward? I mean, I guess 
he can move forward, it's fine, but... Oh, look, the Velites are just firing away, but are they actually firing? It doesn't look like it. Looks like they're struggling. Were they firing at my general? No. He's got some decent experience, Uraimon. Might have to get him in here. So let's go there. So just fill that gap. He's over there. He's at the back. That's fine. Okay. You guys at the front. Let's get you halted again. Sure you're in phalanx, boys. How is his tri tribunus doing? Oh, they're down to half now. Uh, we've killed a lot more than they've killed of us so far, which is good. They're really not getting through this way, so I might actually move these guys into here. So let's get you. And then I want you here. Phalanx. Ideally, even further forward, my boys. There we are. Fantastic. Triple line of phalanxes. Good luck with that, boys. Good luck. Once we've killed that general, once we've cleared up this flank again, I think we'll do the same thing. We'll charge around with our cavalry. I know our cavalry doesn't do that much damage, but it's just that extra kind of hit to their morale. And if we can get a mass route, I know it's really hard to get a mass route with the Romans because of how good their morale is. If we can get a mass route, however, that would be amazing. We'd clean up about a thousand troops right now if we could do that. But first things first, their general needs to die. Oh, it's just a wall of spears. Good luck. Spears going all directions. This is fantastic. Not doing a huge amount of damage. Okay, I take that back. We've done a lot of damage recently. Yeah, he's still at the back, Uimon, so it's fine for him to plug this gap. Nice. Keep fighting away, boys. These guys have failed us once again. For some reason, they always get around that way. So probably in the future, we'll have to do it like that rather than like that. Cover more of the gap. Oh, we're going to have to charge the cav in again. It's going to be bloody, but we will have to do it. Oh, we're, we're even... Yeah, there we are. That's their king as well. Ha ha! That is their consul. And he is dead. Get in there. Go, go, go. Wait, Uimon might actually be in the battle here. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Mass route. Go, boys. Go. Get Uimon out. Get him out so he doesn't die. You guys get there. Ready to go. Send the cavalry after these boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Kill all of them. Oh, that is just glorious. That morale shock of the general dying combined with our cavalry charge just ruined them. Right, boys. Let's go again. And I've only got 10 minutes left of the battle. Poor fellas. If I can get a mass route off in the next 10 minutes, that would be really, really helpful. No, 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 no. Please, please, stop being stupid. Right, now you're up here. Let's go. You should all want to go that way, yeah. You do. Good. See whether we can get a route off. Guys! Guys! Are they joking me? What are they doing? That is not a charge. It's more like a, a freaking amble to battle. They're still eager. That's the problem, you see. Go and get those Velites. We've only got six minutes left. Killed them. Good. Kill them all. Now back again. This time you better charge properly. There we are. Better. Better. That actually did a good, decent amount of damage. Now out. Back. Out. Back. Out. Back. <laughs> good, 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 good. This is glorious. 
poor damn Romans. I hope we can break them, but we can't. We just can't break them. The morale is just too good. Even with that general dead, none of them are even shaken. That's the problem. We can't really destroy these armies. If we could break these guys, like, they would get destroyed. Be able to mop them all up. Right, now you've taken too much damage, I think, really. can still get you two. You as well. Hope we haven't lost that unit. Just because it was good experience. We're still doing huge amount of damage to them, which is good. Yeah, well done. 112 for the Perioikoi Phalangites. Nice. Good. Fantastic. Good to see again. And a bit of healing. Not much, really. Not much healing. But we actually didn't lose many troops. And that 200, wasn't it? Good. Fantastic. Right then, guys. I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. See what Rome wants to do now. Okay, nothing else. They've learned their lessons. Good. Good. <laughs> Goddamn Romans. Okay, a 16-year-old oligarch. Good commander and good attacker. Of course, we'll take you. You are one of these generals, though. I mean, Theos the Philosopher is pretty old now. It's quite like you to stay close by. Got kind of leaders in all these major cities. Oh, you were in there. Have we got someone in Sparta? Yeah, we've got Demas. Orchomenos, Larissa. So where do we... I want to see where we have a blacksmith. Is there anywhere that's big that has a blacksmith that's like large going on huge city? No. Guess not then. We've got mines here, but no blacksmith. Thermon. No. So... Looks like Bylazora is one of the only options. What about Philippopolis? Philippopolis does. And Philippopolis is a, is a large city. Bylazora is a large city now. Have we got Deimos and Phobos? Oh, we don't. We have Dionysus, though. Could delete that. I mean, the thing is, though, Bylazora's population growth is pretty good. We want to get that even higher. Just go as high as we can. Oh, we can go even more. That gives another missile weapon. Does that increase anything else? 111. That turns to 211. Ooh, nice. So another city grows. Argos. Fantastic. Argos is becoming a huge city. Where the life ends. The trochlix. Wait, who was that? Who died? Ah, oh, diplomat. That's that's fine. I had Trocles, got a tutor. Cool. Aegeon. Let's build... What do we want at Aegeon? Just build the small temple. It's fine. Argos, you're upgrading. Ambrachia. Let's go for... Is this is the one where we want to train troops. Let's go for the Hippodrome here as well. Bylazora. Of course, we want population growth. I mean, the Great Agora is what we need for the next level of uh, Foundry anyway. So, it might be worth just building it now. And it gives us population growth as well, which is great. So, Skodra, get the uh, sewers. Oiskos, let's go for crop rotation. Ayada, let's go for the temple of Zeus, potentially. Maybe go for that so we can actually train a little bit of troops up here. Darkidava, kind of want to go for the stone wall because it's close to the enemy. Tylus, let's go for those large mines. And then Tarentum, already building. Excellent. Ancona, are you building that? You know, Ancona, what we should probably do is build the stone wall, honestly. I think we go for the stone wall. We'll also get martial law. Hmm, no, I don't want martial law. Apparently we can retrain them. Probably an armor upgrade or something. But that's fine. So, Suggestica. We should really try and fill Suggestica with some troops. We'll fill it with that and send the rest of these boys home. Because I want to push on with this army. Could go to Norea. Then there's Massalia, who we're neutral with is one of the borders. So that's actually quite a good idea, probably. 
I think we'll do a draw out battle though on that. You guys get in Suggestica. You guys are coming back to Pella. Ah. Move that guy out of the way. How long does it take you to Pella? It's actually not that long. With the paved roads, it's not that long. We should probably upgrade these guys. Do these guys have paved roads? Yeah, it looks like it. Suggestica should probably upgrade to roads after this, though, so we can move around a bit quicker. Repair that, even though it doesn't really need to be repaired. I mean, I can go after Norea, which we don't particularly have to if we don't want to. Or we could go after Patavium, which I'd prefer to go after Patavium. See, the same thing over here. We'll have a look. See how much mercenaries are available. Not much. Because <laughs> I would quite like... I mean, we've got enough to defend again there, actually. Oh, wait. Do we? Is that the uh, Ancona? Yeah, Ancona and Tarentum are fine. It's more Suggestica that was the problem. So, Suggestica is going. That's fine. Didn't we have another army on the way, or was that already the one that went to Tarentum? I think it was the one that was already in Tarentum. So that means we just need to retrain you boys. Get our next couple of cavalry up here, which are from Ambrakia, for retraining. And then we'll have another army ready to go. Okay. Why are we on the agents there? Make sure we retrain those boys. Got the army down there. Clear Nymos, my friend. Now you've cleared the way, Clear Nymos. My Tonium should be a, a decent one. As if... Uh, that's Bosporans. I was going to say, I thought that was the Germanians then. It's like Germanians have gone far, but... It's fine. I kind of want to build the forts on these, on these uh, crossings over here. So when Cleonimos is done, I think that's what we'll do. And we'll man them with these, I mean, these troops. So the Skiritai and the Cryptia will go into places that we're trying to culture convert, which will be Arkadava next, which I'm assuming is why they're unhappy. Yeah, it is. Uh, then we need to try Dark. Oh, Dark is already Greek. So, yeah, so a lot of these troops are actually not that useful right now. But the mercenary ones that have taken a bit of a battering, we will send them into the forts. Man those forts with mercenaries. It'll be expensive. Reasonably expensive. But that's not too much of a problem. That big Germanian army there. Look at that. Mm. I mean, I don't think taking this would be sensible. It's kind of... Out of our lands. I like this river border. It'd be nice if there was another border around here. Or even a fort maybe in this this place here. To stop them coming through that way. And one there. I, I, I don't know. Gets a little bit too complicated at that point I think. So Jessica and Ayada. That's good. You're going back. And Kona. That's good. We are just striking Rome in many different places. Which is good. Are these the ones that we fought last time? think so because a lot did survive in both but i mean the first battle they actually didn't survive that much it was more this uh, second battle at suggestica where a lot survived that's fine though that's fine you guys okay you guys should head up to bylazora You, I'm going to put you in, oh, Larissa, we've already got someone. Can we, can you go across to Chalkis? No, you can't. Was it Corinth that we didn't have one? It's definitely somewhere around here. Okay, Aegeon. I'm going to put you in Aegeon for the time being. I want to be able to recruit some cavalry generals. Which we can't do quite yet, because Sparta's not even a huge city. Thinking Thermon will be able to once that's built. That would be good. And then we don't need to use infantry generals anymore. Which is good. Because that's cavalry generals kind of one of our only good cavalry units. Anyway guys. Well I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Next time I think we'll uh, focus a little bit more on Rome. 
We'll send this army that's in Bailazora and Pella across. I don't know where we're going to strike yet. We might strike in the south again in Croton. Kind of try and block off Carthage because it looks like they've taken a foothold again. Maybe go take, yeah, maybe go take Croton. And then simultaneously we have our northern army going after Patavium. It'd be great if that army went and stood next to Patavium. That'd be unreal. Anyway, though, guys, I think that's it for today. We are starting to get a nice bit of experience up in some of our troops. I think Cleonimos' army... Yeah, the most experienced. They've been around for the longest. So you can see especially the cavalry... Well, one of the cavalry units, actually. The rest, not that experienced. But that's fine. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help us out. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again on the next video.